All right, what's going on YouTube? I'm back again with another Mustang install. Today, we're gonna be installing this Steeda short throw shifter lever into this 2016 Mustang GT. Let's go. All right, so the very first step you're gonna to wanna to do is slide the damn seats all the way back so you can get to something. Next step, unscrew shifter ball. Throw that down out of the way. You can take the rubber pieces out from here, these two screws, go ahead and pop those out. Then your side panels, just reach up back behind them, pull them. You see you got a couple clips right here, and there's a magnet on the bottom. I like to lay the side panel out, that's why I like keeping the screws in. There'll be two screws on each side right here in the side panel, you go ahead and take those two screws out. Next, pop open the center console here, and there's gonna be clips right here on both sides and you're gonna pop those clips there's a couple up here some here and what are we gonna use handy dandy trim tool uh first time i did this did with a screwdriver and kind of gouged it all up on my first uh, car a few years ago that's why i picked up a set of these and they are lovely so you pop all these clips out get it under pop them up there's clips all the way into the front and the whole thing's going to be loose and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull the back up because you've gotta get it over the top of this uh, e-brake here. So your e-brake handle, you make sure you pull it up just as high as what you can get it so you can get this slipped out of here. And it's gonna come pull back, pull back, and up and out. All right, so once you get the front pulled out, uh, you're gonna have this, on um, this right here is a base model. So all it's got is the one wire here. And this is an important wire. If you don't plug it back up, your car's not gonna start because this is the sensor for your key. It's the proximity sensor for your key. So if you don't get it plugged back up, you're gonna have to take all this back apart. So on this particular car, base model, one plug, pop it off. If it was a uh, premium model, you'd have the my color for the color inside the uh, cup holders. You'd have that to take off too. Uh, you're gonna take this, you know, heat shield, Pretty sorry, heat shield Ford uses off. Then take this rubber out of here, take that off. And then for this particular kit, what you're gonna have to do is, you're gonna disassemble a reverse lockout. So you take this uh, Torx bit right here loose and disassemble it. And then we're gonna drive this pin out of here and we're gonna pull this uh, O-ring and this isolator and spring. We're gonna pull all that stuff off and then we're gonna pull it out from the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is I go ahead and I take apart these bolts right here and loosen them up, get me a little distance, drop it down so I can have some room. Then you're going to go right up here to focus, focus, these bolts on the back of the shifter bracket. There we go. Those nuts right there, you got one on this side and you're gonna have one over here on this side. Where you at, focus. I already took this one off, but that's where, where it's gonna be at. And it's the back of the shifter bracket where, let's see if you can see it, right here where this uh, the back of the shifter attaches this bracket. Then after that, I'm gonna take out these two bolts on this side, and then these two bolts on this side, and drop the bottom of the uh, shifter assembly off. Okay, so I got the bottom plate off with those four screws out, and the whole bottom assembly comes off, and then the shifter cup, uh, comes down with the shifter linkage and there's the bottom of the shifter so those two 10 millimeter bolts right there I'm gonna take those two out and then the whole shifter rod is gonna come out from the uh, bottom here Okay, so once you get the shifter pulled down, this is what you have for the uh, factory shifter and We're gonna reuse this white piece here. It just kind of pops off and then this piece on the bottom is the shifter cup the shifter cup's gonna pop off as well and you're gonna reuse that uh, with the steeder shifter. So we're gonna cut to putting that stuff on here in just a second. First, I'd like to show y'all this rear shifter bracket here for in case, you know, if anyone hasn't seen this thing yet. It was this huge gaping hole that shifter sits in from the factory. If you wonder why you're missing third or it feels real notchy and sloppy while it's still in gear, this is one of the main culprits uh, that's giving you that feeling this and this soft you know plastic right here is giving you that feeling so if you think you don't need a barton two post bracket or some other kind of uh, bracket on the back other than the factory one you're living in an alternate universe so what you're going to do is they supply you some grease here with this kit and you're going to put some grease inside of this cup and it goes on first and then you put a little bit of grease on the side of this cup and then I always like to save a little grease to put on the bottom side of the cup and on this ball right here to keep everything 
everything lubed up. I just squeezed the extra grease in there. So all you have to do uh, to get that on is pop it down in, get your shaft lined up here, and <clears throat> pop it on there. Then for this ball right here, it's a little bit more tricky. You're gonna probably you're gonna have to start from the side. And it's, it's hard. I might not even be able to video this. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to put the camera down. That's a two-hander on this one on the bottom, but you want to turn it to the side and apply firm pressure and it'll snap down into the into that shifter cup. And then once you get it on there, just go ahead and straighten the cup out. That way it'll slide uh, the shifter cup, That it'll slide this into the shifter cup on the factory assembly. Okay, so there's a little hole right here where Allen key goes. And let's see, okay. And you want to make sure that it's facing the passenger side. And it's important that it's facing the passenger side for the reverse lockout to work properly. Uh, on the factory setup, it is on the driver's side. So with this Theta uh, short throw, it is going to be on the passenger side. So make sure you orient, uh, orient it right. And then you're just going to reverse the removal procedure. You're going to push this back in there. You're going to install the lower bracket. Uh, and then you're going to install the bottom half of the shifter assembly itself and then the rear brake. Here it is. We're done on the bottom. Make sure that this rubber boot right here, you get it slid back over. And on your rear bracket assembly, make sure you get everything put back into place on it as well. Uh, but we're all done. We're buttoned up on the bottom. Bolts are tightened up. Now to go to the top side. All right, so now we're back in the car and we have these two little uh, grooves right here in this and you're going to take these flat o-rings and slip them down get one into the bottom groove there one onto the top groove and then you're going to take the rest of the supplied grease here you can just slather this up right here get the grease all around where these o-rings are going Gonna help lube up that reverse lockout collar. All right, next thing that we're gonna want to do is take our reverse lockout collar right here, supplied with the shifter bracket, slide it down over this way, just like this, and line up our hole here. Oop. line up this hole here and then take the factory bolt that we took out right here from the factory reverse lockout and you're going to place it right here where this bolt goes that's a t20 torx bit in case you're wondering make sure we get this up on there and it's nice and tight, sliding around these O-rings pretty good. And what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and take the shifter boot here. The arrows point towards the front, towards the rear. That's where these arrows should be pointing. And slip it down. And it goes into the groove right here on the reverse lockout collar. And then we're going to pull it around this bottom part right here on the bottom of the shifter. Okay, so next you're going to put the spring back down on and you're going to have to pull the spring down and get the little allen started on both sides and you want them sticking out evenly and here, there we go, focus, let's go, let's go, let's go, there's the little bitty allen, there's the little allens that you're going to put in, you want them spaced out evenly, you'll see what that looks like once I, once I get them in there, but I'm going to hold the spring down and uh, get these in there. So it looks like both of our Allens here are spaced evenly to hold the uh, reverse lockout spring down. So the next thing that we're gonna have to do is we're going to put these little pieces on. The uh, factory pieces here, there's this piece goes on like this. Boop. And this shifter had an O-ring, so I'm gonna put that right back on there for them. 
and those pieces are going like that and then what we're going to do is we're going to move on to the center console section and we're going to place the bottom side of the shifter in here and then i'm going to tighten these up as soon as i fish out my allen key that i just so brought. there's the allens you know you just slide the uh, factory shift boot uh, bottom portion back down into here then you're going to hold it down while you're tightening these allens and you need to go back and forth and tighten them down in a sequence. Don't tighten one of them all the way down and then try to go to the other ones. Uh, tighten each one of them down a little bit and then move to the next one. Uh, we're gonna start the reassembly of this. Remember this, I said the plug, make sure that you plug this one back in. And cause this right here goes for your key. Car's not gonna start if you don't get this one plugged back in. So we're gonna get this thing plugged in, get in there. And then we're going to start pushing down. You can see some of the clips here. There's a set of clips right here at the front. And I'm gonna get this plastic piece right here uh, put back in. It needs to go down in there beforehand. Don't forget this or you'll be taking all this stuff back apart again to get this plastic piece put back down in here. So you get it put down in like so. And then I'm gonna go to putting the rest of this uh, center console back in. All right, there you have it, YouTube. Steeda short throw shifter. Uh, this this is not the triax. This was just the uh, internal shifter uh, rod itself. It's a lot lower, shorter throw. Everything seems uh, a little bit tighter than what it was before, and I think uh, my friend here is going to enjoy it pretty thoroughly. So that's the video. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe for more if you like my channel. Thanks.